Man, it's been a while since I talked about this game. If you're someone that's in the Cold War but doesn't like the new Call of Duty, then I have some alternatives that we need to talk about. So, what's up, everybody? Do right back at it again with another video. Today, we're going to be talking about a game that I haven't talked about in a while. This is a game that has received several updates since the last time that I talked about it and even had a name change. This is a game that obviously still has a long way to go, but, you know, I thought I'd talk about what's new. So, the original name for this game was After Conflict Lost War, but since then has been changed to just After Conflict. After Conflict is a realistic Cold War multiplayer tactical FPS wherein the remnants of NATO and Warsaw Pact forces fight to the bitter end during the latter stages of World War III. So this is like after the bombs drop, basically. Well, actually, I'm not really sure if it's bombs drop or after the conflict has already started and they haven't dropped bombs on each other. Who knows? From what I've played, it doesn't seem like the bombs have actually dropped because all the fields and trees and stuff still look green. So who really knows? Maybe they haven't actually fully did the maps just yet. This game definitely still has a long way to go so yeah so the last time that we actually talked about this game there was maybe only like mm, three to five guns i think well in this update they have added another faction and multiple guns along with a bunch of other mechanics that were not seen previously in any other builds i was actually able to play a match with one of the developers and another subscriber who constantly wants me to cover cold war like games so let's go over them so the first thing that we're going to be talking about is the new faction itself the abbreviation for this faction is called the ddr or gdr if you're an English speaker like me, it basically stands for the German Democratic Republic, or if you're someone that speaks German, Deutsche Demokratische Republik. Yeah, or as we know it today, East Germany. That was just the official name during the quote-unquote Cold War, when Germany was divided after World War II. East Germany was a country that existed from 1949 to 1990, the period when the eastern portion of Germany was a part of the Eastern Bloc during the Cold War. Commonly described as a communist state, it described itself as a socialist workers and peasant state. It consisted of territory that was administered and occupied by Soviet forces following the end of World War II. So yeah, definitely an interesting faction that I've never really heard before. I'm really kind of curious how much of a significant role they actually played. I mean, they did exist for quite a while, but I don't think I've ever really heard about them until now. I mean, I'm pretty sure it's just them putting down dissent, but can't say for sure. Never really lived in that time, so yeah. Let's go ahead and name off all the weapons that they have. The first weapon we've got is an MPI KM. Take a look at its custom customization option to make this thing look really dark. Got a plastic stock and a wood stock. Different looking grip. The compensator looks a little different slightly. The sights. We've got just the regular kind of sights. And then the one with the ZN64. Pretty much the same type of ammo. Moving on to the next weapon here. The MPI KMS 72. Let's take a look at the customization here. Change up the wood. Looks pretty nice. Got the color of the steel a little different. The muzzle can be changed to standard or compensator. The sights add like a bit of a thing on the back there the zvn 64 all right let's look at the next weapon the mpi ak 74n let's customize this bad boy all right so that just changes the back sights got your optics here you could put on the pso scope which is a very nice scope i, I actually showed it off in the previous video and the zfk 4x25 i don't think i've actually seen this one before let's take a look at it oh yeah this i think this is a new scope from the last time i saw Okay, moving on to the next weapon, we've got the MPI AKS 74N. Let's customize that bad boy. All right, so it seems like you can only get the sights with it. We've got the standard sights and the ZVN64, which you can actually change sights when you have the scope on. That's something that I really like to do, to be honest, because I feel like the scope just like really covers up my screen. And that's all there seems to be for this weapon at the moment. Not sure if they're going to change anything about it, but I'm sure they will. Moving on to the next weapon here, we've got the MPI AKS 74NK. It almost looks like a 74U kind of weapon. Let's take a look at the uh, customization here. It's actually a pretty good looking AK. I quite like it. The other thing that it seems to come with is optics at the moment. We got the PSO 1 and the ZKF 4x25. Alright, moving on to the next one here. We've got the I don't even know how the frack you say that. The Shalsevich Sharsev Sharasuits Shootswagen Veer. I don't know how to say that. Somebody that knows how to say that, please tell me. But it just looks like the dragon off to me, which I'm pretty sure this is, right? Got a new style. Ooh, it doesn't. That looks pretty nice, actually. It looks brand new. The furniture? Yeah! And just one scope. All right, let's go back. And that seems to be all the weapons for this faction. Some of these are featured in the USSR, but we'll get over to that in just a second here. Let's look at the sidearm. We just got the regular pistol 
M. I don't think there's any like significant. They just got a very nice looking gun model there. Let's take a look at the equipment. We've got the grenades, F1 DDR, and a RGD5 DDR. This looks like the Russian and the American variant from back in the day, if I'm being honest. That seems to be it for the grenades here. Uh, let's see. We got the melee. Simple stuff. It's actually tied to the front of his thing right here. The uniform. Let's see. Same uniform. The head. Which they should really change that name to helmet, not head, because it doesn't change his face. It only changes his helmet. All right, so that seems to be it for the East Germans. Pretty neat little faction. Hopefully, they clean it up a bit. It looks very bare bones at the moment. Pushing on over to the USSR, we've got a ridiculous amount of rifles for the USSR. I really don't recall which ones were actually new to the game. I'd have to, like, look at my old video. Hold up. I'm not mistaken, it was just the SVU, SVD, and I think the shotgun? Yeah, so the last three were the ones that were actually featured in my previous video. I added in the SKS because a piece of the code was actually given to me by one of the developers. He gave me a code so that I could put into the game, and it gave me the SKS, and I showed that off to you guys last time. So these other weapons that are straight above this are all new models. I'm probably not going to shoot them all, but maybe mm, if I get maybe like... <sighs> I don't know 60 likes if I get 60 likes I'll do like a reload animation for each weapon just saying so let's just go ahead and talk about these ones here we'll start from this one we got the AKM SL this is a weapon that I think I've actually seen in squad I think it was I could be wrong though check myself before I wreck myself we've got the used furniture dark wood light wood I like the light wood to be honest um let's see let's take the grip here we got used used is always ugly to me but I mean it's cool to have it as an option I suppose dark wood light wood wood and bake light and then we got the magazine we got the uh steel mag which is blued we got paint it's a little darker doesn't it eh, kind of yeah darker side and the 6l 10 magazine which is just the brown one very nice very nice and then we got the muzzle here the standard which is just nothing on it at the moment the compensator which is the same thing that we showed in the previous one the flash hider Ooh, very nice very nice and the pbs silencer wow i think this is the first time i've actually seen the silencer in well no actually i think i did see the silencer in the previous time that we actually played but i could be wrong uh let's go to iron sights see if there's anything new here we've got the pbs one i'm not sure what that changed there oh, oh i see so the top part kind of changes a little yeah just turns it like a little darker color and then and the 6CH3, which puts a little dot in the middle right there, just so you can line it up better, as I'm supposing. All right, all right, all right, cool. Sights. Now we got the PSO, the USP1, and the PU, which these are all ones that I've actually shown off in the previous video, so if you want to go check that out, I will have it listed at the eye icon at the top right. Be sure to check that out if you want to see those scopes. All right, let's check out the next weapon. You've got the AKMS. This actually looks a little tinier than the other one, so let's take a look at it. Yeah, it does look a little tinier. So let's check out the furniture. you got the dark wood and the light wood i think the light wood is probably my favorite just because it looks so slick and then we got the grip here dark light fake light i don't like the bake light gotta be honest i think it actually looks better on like a valve but yeah it doesn't look good here in my opinion and then we got the magazine which is already on the brown one here we got the steel magazine we got the steel magazine blued i don't know why they call it blued it looks pretty much like a gray color to me but it's all right we got the standard here let's see what it looks like we got the compensator flash hider silencer you know that standard stuff sights we've got the pbs one iron sight which is pretty much the same one that we saw before and the 6ch3 very nice all right moving up in the world we got the akml Ooh, very gorgeous looking weapons hmm i can already see the flash hider it's got the uh dark wood start with the furniture here let's go light wood oh we got the used too light wood's my my favorite so let's let's light wood it up the used the ugly ass one dark light wood and then we got the grip here used used dark wood light and then bake light light wood and then same thing yep magazines are pretty much all the same along with the muzzles the muzzles are pretty much the same so i'm just not gonna even go over it we got these sights which are pretty much all the same not too much different here very gorgeous looking weapon though i gotta say put an optic on that we got a pso Ooh it's like something from escape from tarkov look at this puppy all right moving on to the next one here the next one is a recent add-on i believe if i'm not mistaken you've got the aks 74u let's customize that 
that bad boy put some uh what is this the 6p26 wood furniture new Ooh, very gorgeous i like that i like it i like it a lot magazine you know what i really like the 74 you it's a neat little weapon uh and i definitely like the brown magazine with this one but let's check out the other ones real quick we see we got this this the black one doesn't look too bad either but i prefer this one to be honest i just like the wood on this one it looks nice all right barrel and we got the uh silencer i think that's a silencer right yeah i believe so very nice very nice it's about as good as a cold war weapon is gonna get i don't think there's i don't think there was too much customization back then if i'm uh, if i'm not mistaken i could be wrong i'm not a gun nut so if any gun nut wants to freaking correct me and be like oh no there was a shit ton of customization just let me know down in the comments because i am kind of curious let me go on to the next one you got the aks 74 i believe this was the standard if i'm not mistaken oh and also we could change it to the black variant oh i actually like the black variant hold on yeah i'm gonna keep it i'm gonna keep everything black for this one let's see bakelite eh, plum black there we go magazine nah don't like it go black yeah very nice yeah this is the one straight from escape from tarkov i believe the ammo is all pretty much the same it hasn't really changed from last time uh i, I covered all the ammunition uh from the last one i believe so uh, yeah let's move on to the next thing here we got the ak-74 that's pretty much the same as the other one uh if i'm not mistaken correct me if i'm wrong because i usually am got the furniture look at it oh, oh i like the blackness very nice well let's, yeah, let's do this one used wood let's try let's try uh, let's see the stock black and then we got the uh, we got the wood magazine we're gonna keep it that color but let's see we got the plum that looks like it's been scraped off just a bit there interesting got the black but let's keep it this yeah very nice very nice I, mean, I don't like that color to be honest but you know for the sake of just keeping something different, you know I me. Mean? All right, and the last one, the AKM. We got the furniture, dark wood. Yeah, let's just make this one a dark wood. We got the light wood. Let's go dark wood for a change. We got the used light. Oh, this is the back stock. Yes, dark wood. Grip, light, dark, used. Let's go dark. And then the magazine, paint. Yeah, let's go that. Ooh, I like it. I think I like it like that. All right, uh, standard, compensator, flash hider, silencer. Let's go flash hider. Flash hider is very nice looking thing. The sights. PBS. Oh, what's the one with the dot? The, this one? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. No. All right. Except. And that is all the weapons for the USSR. Let's check out the sidearm here. We've got the PM, or I believe this is called a Makarov. Yeah, this is called the Makarov, I believe. I think. Equipment. We've got the RGD5, F1, the RGN, the RGO, and the L2, or AI2, or as I like to call it, cheese. You pull out your cheese to freaking revive yourself. Neat mechanic. I believe I showed that one off in the previous video too not too much has changed with the knives uh, i believe there's different uniforms yeah we've got the af Ganka, which is the one he's wearing, I think it's called. The Bhutan, the Barvika, and the Berezerka? Excuse me, I don't know how to freaking say these names, sorry. All right, let's go to head here. There should be like three different types of helmets. Yep, here they are. We got the SSH-60, which is the one that I'm currently wearing. The SSH-68, which looks more like the one from World War II. And the SSH-68 Hessian cover. Okay, cool. All right, and that about do it for the USSR. Switching over to America. As of the recording of this video, the Americans have actually been locked off because they're apparently undergoing an overhaul of some sort. They haven't exactly explained that to me, but I think it's related to character model. Not entirely sure. Luckily for you guys, I had already recorded what was going on beforehand, so I can tell you what weapons were actually available for the Americans. There were only two weapons that I could remember. There was the M40A1, which is a sniper rifle, bolt action, uh, MB70, or is it M870? I can't really read that. The text is a little weird, but it's a shotgun is what it is. I believe I showed the weapons off in the previous video, so you could just go ahead and watch that. The sidearm is a 1911. Now that I'm looking at this video, I also see an M9 Beretta, I believe. Correct me if I'm wrong. Looks like they have two different types of frag grenades, the M67 and M68, then a smoke grenade, MK3A2. The knife also has a name. It's called the uh, M9. The video that I previously recorded also shows off uniforms. You got the ERDL, I believe that says, an M81. Also shows shows off the helmets. The first helmet that we have here is a PAS GT no cover. Pretty much the same helmet just with no cover. And then the PAS GT, what I'm assuming is the cover. And the M1, which
which I think is World War II helmet, if I'm not mistaken. And yeah, that's all I was able to actually get before they shut it off, which I believe was just everything. So yeah. So yeah, that pretty much does it for all the factions that are currently featured. I want to say that all the gun models that are featured in this game so far are really gorgeous, but I hope that they, you know, make the character models look a lot better because they do kind of look a little goofy in my opinion. But yeah, I mean, this game has a very long way to go, so we'll definitely see that in the future, I hope. So before I end the video, I think I'm just going to, you know, run down the list here of everything that they added since the last time that I actually covered this game. Uh, let's see here. They added in character customization. They added in melee weapons before they weren't usable. Now they are. They added in stage reloads, which they actually just showed off on their channel recently and also their Twitter, I believe. They added in silencer mechanics, which I'm assuming that when you take some shots, it's obviously going to be a lot quieter than, you know, if you don't have a silencer on, I'm assuming. They added in suppression. I don't know how effective that actually is because I haven't really played too much of the game, but I'm sure it's definitely going to affect you. They added in quite a bit of scopes. They added in quite a bit of weapons, as you actually saw because we just went over them. It's a hell of a lot more than what I showed off last time because last time there was maybe like five or six compared to how much I just talked to you about. Like, Jesus. They added in multiplayer stuff, as you can see in the background here. At the moment, they're moving stage reloading to the network, so it's actually turned off at the moment. But I tested it before along with the subscriber that keeps bothering me about covering Cold War games. They added in a bunch of weapon customization, but obviously not everything has been fully added in just yet. But as I read, you know, before there's a lot of stuff there. Most of it's pretty much the same uh, down the line, it seems. They added in weapon-based ammo pouches. Along with the stage reloads, they added in advanced reloading in general, like, um, you know, being able to like fast reload, reload your weapon the regular way by just, you know, taking it out, putting it away and putting in another one or checking your mag you know stuff like that they added in the ddr which we just went over at the very beginning of the video they added in iron sights and illumination for reticles which we actually talked about a little bit earlier and i believe that is about it for everything in the last eight months that they've actually you know been screwing around with this game um they continue to show off more stuff on their twitter it seems like they keep dropping like a new gun model like every freaking week or so so if you want to go check that out then i'll definitely have it linked down in the description for you guys to take a look at that this game also has a patreon so if you actually want to support them directly then you can they actually have a roadmap here according to them the only one that they really finished here is the fifth one which is just start the after conflict patreon the ussr faction basics ak-74 aps svd m88 etc uh, ddr faction basics all of this the warsaw pack ussr firing range which that's also in the game we covered that in the previous video and uh, yeah so apparently the fifth one is the only thing that they've done so far they still have a long way to go before they actually get to early access but if you do become a patron you're able to actually play the demo and you know test the game i'm probably not the best person to you know test the game because i've just seen people test the game and actually have a better input than i would i'm not the greatest when it comes to criticism to be honest so if you're someone that would like to support their game i have the patreon link down in the description for you to check it out so yeah that was after conflict what were your thoughts is this a game that you would get into it's obviously a game that has a long way to go but hey it definitely doesn't look too bad so yeah i'm gonna end the video right here if you enjoy the fact that i cover games like after conflict then go ahead and like the video share the video and comment down below if you're someone that would like to support the channel check out my patreon just send two bucks a month that's all i really need if you're someone that's new to the channel then be sure to subscribe and ding the bell you never know you might find something that you like on the channel stick around and with that all being said i want to thank everybody for coming out to watch and i guess i'll catch you in the next one Bye bye